Hey, on today's adventure, um, we're going metal detecting. It's a beautiful day. Uh, metal detected this uh, particular location uh, the other day. Found some uh, found some bullets. Found a piece of a crotobel. I'll send you the pictures of that. Um, so we're going to try to find some other relics. Um, like I said, it's a beautiful day. Uh, spray down with your deep woods off because the ticks are out. So let's get it out ahead of the ticks with the spray on. Uh, yeah, let's do that. See ya. First hole, bringing up a sweet 80. Is this mason jar lid? I don't see if it's a ball, but uh, wow, it sounded great. Uh, I thought it was a uh, Morgan dollar or a Peace dollar or a walking liber, uh, but it was not. It was one of those things. Anyhow, on to the next one. Here we go. This signal here uh, rang up uh, 70s and 80s, bouncy, of course. Um, but anyway, it was a uh, some kind of a horse tack buckle, pretty old. Uh, made of iron, but it was about uh, it was about four or five inches down. Anyway, cool find. Uh, this is one of those signals, really scratchy. Signal one way. Uh, anyways, long story short is it's not a Confederate belt buckle or a gold coin. But it is an old pocket knife. Uh, and this is where we dug Civil War artifacts, and relics. I'm not, you know, no way to date this, but it's is very old. Uh, anyway, just one of those things, you know. You're in a Civil War place, you got to dig everything. You're in dig. You know, this is a relic of some kind. Just can't say for sure if it was, uh, you know, Custer's pocket knife or something like that. But uh, it's cool, anyways. All right, finally got a uh, good uh, mid-tone, uh, bring up a 52. Dug this beautiful plug here, as you can see, surgical precision. And uh, right there in the middle of the plug, we have what appears to be a bullet. What kind is it? Looks like a Spencer bullet. Or sharps, one of those. Very nice, flat face, very nice, cool. Woo -woo. Okay, hope you guys can see this, got another signal right beside the plug, I think, Doug. Bringing up the 79, bouncy. Okay, we're going to dig it and see what we get. Okay, out of the hole, getting a cleaner signal. Okay, let's get digging. All right, let me turn this off and uh, I'll show you what it is. Okay, right there, only it's green. There we go. I think it was a button, so we can figure out. Yeah, I think it was a button. I think it's disintegrated. I see the back of the thing there. Uh, 
looks like a you look right there it looks like a general service button but uh, that's why it's important to get out here and start digging these things because they don't last forever let's get that back looks like the button back it was a button Take the back and the front's disintegrated looks like it was a journal service button now all right guys okay so this uh Initially ringing up to 70. Uh, signal got a lot cleaner. So let's uh, figure out what it is. Actually, this is a three ringer. Sorry, big old '54 three ringer. American Civil War. I like it. Let's get some more. This thing rang up a '75. Uh, actually, it was like a '50 when I uh, swung over it. A '75 when I. Um, open up the plug and as you can see it's brass of some kind Let's turn that noisy thing off so let's see what it is don't know what this thing is what it is it's one of those uh it looks like it attaches by two rivets i'm sorry didn't have any frame there looks like it attaches by two rivets is brass not exactly sure what that is but uh i'll find out if somebody knows uh let me know all right on to the next one Get out with the carbine bullet. Looks to be in excellent shape. Dropped. All these seem to be dropped. Uh, I found uh, some camp lead, and uh, you know most of these things are excellent condition. Doesn't even look like there's any powder degradation in the bottom of these things. Uh, but it's cool. See you guys on the next one. Okay, hey, here's my wrap up from uh, the last hunt. Um, of course, this is the uh, general service uh, button. It was uh, super deteriorated, but it does have a Waterbury back mark. Uh, this uh, rivet, um, some camp lead, and two uh, carbine bullets, and a three ringer, which is, you can tell it, it's got a star in the base of it. Washington Arsenal. Here's another piece and I, I don't know what it is. It's got two rivets. It's brass. It was in in that same area uh, I'm sure it's a piece of uh, Some kind of a keeper or something. I just don't know what it is. But anyway, 
that's a wrap up uh, for the hunt and uh, we'll keep on swinging and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.